guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika. In today's video, I am going to be going over my must-have eyeshadow brushes. To create an eye look, you do need a few good tools under your belt and brushes can be quite an investment, so you want to make sure you're purchasing the right ones that you're going to get the most use out of. So if you're interested in hearing about my favorite brushes for any eyeshadow application, then stay tuned and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be using Sigma brushes as my examples. Now, you don't need to go out and buy these exact Sigma brushes as there are a lot of brush companies who create a lot of great brushes. But Sigma does have a huge variety of eye brushes and a lot of staples amongst them. So if you're after your first lot of makeup brushes but prefer a price point from a different brand, then that's fine. This video is just to help you be able to choose the right brush styles that I think are necessary when doing your eyeshadow. But if you really do love the Sigma brushes, then I am an affiliate, which is another reason why I am showcasing them in this video. So I will link my code down below for you. All right, so when it comes to eyeshadow, a great base is where it all starts. I prefer to use a concealer as it creates a nice even base for the eyeshadows. I personally have a lot of discoloration to my eyelids, so putting on the concealer not only covers all that up, but it's going to help the color of your eyeshadows pop more and they're going to blend it seamlessly into each other. So the brush I love for this is the P88 Precision Flat Angled Brush. This has dense, tightly packed bristles that do a great job of packing on the base and leaving it streak free. I love that it has the angled cut because it makes it really easy to get up under your brows and also on the inner corner of your eye, making sure that your entire lid is covered. And then if you like to set your base with powder, you can go straight in with the same brush into the powder and pack that onto the lid to set everything in place. Next is the E35 Tapered Blending Brush. And this is simply a fluffy brush. I'm sure you've heard everyone use that term before and this is what they're talking about. So this brush has longer bristles that fan out into a slight dome shape. This is the brush you're going to use to first apply your transition color. So into and just above the crease. You've probably heard of the Sigma E40 and this is the most popular fluffy brush, but I prefer the E35 as it is a bit smaller and makes it a bit more easy to control. With this brush, you just want to use light sweeping motions and that is going to seamlessly blend out your transition color. This brush is also really great for blending over any harsh lines once you've added in more shades. Next is the E25 blending brush and this one has long but firm bristles with a rounded head. So you can see that it is similar to the E35, but it's like the bottom here has been pinched and that's to make it more dense, but the top of the brush is still really fluffy and great for blending. Now this brush can be used in a few different ways. Firstly, I like it for applying my second transition or crease shade. So because of the flat but rounded head, it makes it perfect for moving along the crease while blending the shades at the same time. It offers a lot of precision in that area, which I really love. And then depending on which way you hold the brush, it's going to give you a different outcome. So holding the brush flat like this into the crease will give you a more precise application. Whereas if you were to turn the brush this way and apply it like this, it's going to blend your shade up a lot higher. This brush can also be used if you're just doing a one shade quick eyeshadow application. Because it is quite flat on the sides, you can pack a shade onto your lid and then turn the brush onto the fluffy top and blend it into the crease. I also love this brush when I'm going for a smoky look under the lower lash line. You can get up nice and close, but again, because of that fluffy head, it blends it out. Next is the E54 Medium Sweeper Brush, and this is a shading brush. So this kind of brush is what you're going to need to apply color to the lid. This brush can be used for applying matte shades, shimmers, glitters, pigments, creams, you name it, this brush has got you covered. It has a densely packed hairs with a rounded head, which makes it perfect for getting into those little nooks and crannies on your eyelid. The size of this brush is perfect for me as it's not too wide, so you can still get a really nice precise application on the lid. And then because the tip of the brush is not completely flat, it is a little bit fluffy, it helps to blend any color into the crease. 
if you're not going for that super sharp cut crease look. This is the perfect brush if you want to apply your shadows wet as well. The bristles won't get ruined and it really helps to make the shimmers and glitters really pop. Next on the list is the E30 pencil brush. As you can see, this is a very small brush with a pointed tip, so it makes it perfect for applying darker colors into the outer corner of the eye. Working with darker colors can be a little bit scary and less is definitely more, so a small brush is perfect for you to be able to place the color precisely where you need it. Once you've placed that darker shade down, you can go in with the E25 and using it on that horizontal angle to blend it out. Because of the pointed tip, it's also really great if you want to deepen up your crease. You can use a small amount of shadow and lightly place that through the crease to deepen it and moving the brush back and forth is also going to help blend it out just the perfect amount. I also really love this brush for the lower lash line. It is the perfect size to get up nice and close and apply your eyeshadow. Another use for this brush, because it is so small, it's great for highlighting your brow bone or your inner corner. And the last brush I want to talk about is a little bit different, but I literally use this every time I do my eyeshadow, and this is the E15 Flat Definer Brush. This is a very thin and dense bristle brush that I absolutely love for getting deeper shades up along my lower lash line. I know I've pretty much said this about every brush, but the precision from this one is so great. Some other ways I like to use this brush are instead of applying a liner, I go in with a dark eyeshadow and smudge the shadow into my lash line. I have blonde eyelashes and it is quite hard to get the mascara all the way to the base. So that's when this brush and a deep shade really comes in handy because I can get all the way down there with a deeper shade. You can also use this brush for cleaning up your eyebrows with concealer using the top here to outline them and then going ahead with the kind of flat side to blend that concealer down. It's great to create a cut crease on the lid as well and another one of my favorite uses is after I've completed my cut crease, I go in with the deep shade that I use and run that along the edge of the crease because it's really going to define it. Well, they are my must-have eyeshadow brushes. I hope you enjoyed watching today and hopefully learned something. If you have any questions, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Always remember that a single brush doesn't have to have a single use. They can be used in so many different ways, which is why I love the brushes that I mentioned today, because I feel like I get the most variety and the most use out of these. Well, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite eyeshadow brushes are. And if you wanna see a must-have face brushes, let me know as well. All right, well again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I'm aiming to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.